I honestly don't know where to begin with this company. From the pumps to the horrible financials to some of the biggest stock dilutions I've ever seen, Therapy Sales has it all. So where do I begin? 2011 looks like a good place. For Therapy Sales, 2011 was a big year as far as we could dig. The shady things start back then with someone named Christopher Glover. Back then he was the CEO of Therapy Sales as well as three other companies all at the same time. He seems to be quite the busy man. Here are some of the names of the companies. Flammerit Inc., Trudy Corp., Playbox, and of course Therapy Sales. And in the same year, humongous share reverse splits were initiated by all of them over a period of uh, four and a half months. And in the case of therapy sales, things go even longer than that. About a year prior, the company initiated a very similar reverse split. So, two reverse splits in two years. Why would anyone go through that? Well, after a lot of digging, here's what I uncovered. It's all about preferred stock. Preferred stock, A, B, C, whatever letter of the alphabet you want, the company has authorized and probably issued it. What you see in front of you is an old financial report back in the days when therapy sales still filed with the SEC. Wait, maybe I should mention this earlier. The company practically isn't working. It has issued just one press release for the years and years under its current name, and that was in August 2013. It used to file with the SEC as we mentioned, but those filings were always sporadic and delayed. At one point, the management just decided to drop the act and started filing the reports directly with the OTC. But here's the problem. This is what their current reports look like. They're not audited because therapy sales is a pink sheet, so they can basically state whatever they want. So we had to go way back when the company still filed with the SEC. Those reports are the only ones where you can find an explanation on what the preferred stocks actually do. The new ones only state that there are a series of preferred stocks and that's it. Here's the short story. Series A preferred stock grants you more voting power rights. Series B are convertible at all times for a big number of shares. Series C are convertible at all times into 40 shares of common stock. We don't give you an exact number for the first two because the formula can give you a headache. It looks like this. For Series B, you can multiply the preferred share by 2.5. Then you divide the result by the price of the common stock on the day of the conversion. Then you multiply the resulting total by 1.2. It all boils down to what looks like a classic scenario. Usually it goes through the following motions. The stock gets heavily diluted with time, mostly because the company finances itself by using convertible notes. Preferred stock are converted as well, so the outstanding shares rise dramatically. Meanwhile, investors are buying, but they realize no one is interested in the company, so dollar volumes become stagnant. Then the reverse split is done to reduce the number of shares. Now at this point, investors haven't lost anything yet. Let us give you an example. In a 10 for 1 reverse split, let's say you originally bought 100 shares 10 cents each, they become 10 shares $1 each. At this point, everything is fine. But then suddenly the company goes at it again with convertible notes. That's when the value of your shares go down and down and down to the bottom. That's how the scam is done. We can't say for sure that this is what's happening with therapy sales, but we don't need to. You should weigh the risks on your own. We're just here to give you the information. For the first quarter of this year, the company had a total of $25 in cash. 56,000 total assets and absolutely no revenues on one side. And on the other, 900,000 in liabilities and 5,000 in net loss. Another thing you should note is that at the end of 2013, 110 million outstanding shares were reported. Three months later, the number grew to 152 million. As of May 7th, it turned into 256 million, while the company's OTC profile shows that on June 6th, the outstanding shares were 359 million. Oh, and speaking of profiles, take a look at it. A man named John Meredith is listed as the CEO. Take a good look at that name. I'm sure someone will ask why the heck did I take all that time to talk about what Christopher Glover did if he's not the CEO right now? Well, here's why. Remember Flammerit? One of the companies that were run by him in 2011? This is their profile right now. Take a good look at it. John Meredith is listed as the CFO, while the president of the company is called Susan Glover, who we assume is from the family of Christopher Glover. But wait, there's more. 
take a good look at the addresses of the two companies. And this is the address of Therapy Cells. They're on the same street. Do you want to see what Therapy Cells headquarters looks like according to Google? Someone seems to be living the high life. I live the life. And you must live the life. At the same time, all the explosion of interest for the company was due to one very simple thing. It wasn't a supposed patent. It wasn't because of a breakthrough. It was because of a pump. Several promoter outfits started sending uncompensated emails and this is the result. As I said, now you have to weigh the risks. But I bet someone will get rich very soon. I'm living the life, yo I'm living the life And if you ain't with a shorty then you part of the hype Yo I'm living the life, yo I'm living the life And if you ain't with a shorty then you part of the hype I have a small amount of money to invest and I want to gamble in the market I'm looking for a penny stock that'll go up and turn it into a hundred thousand or a million dollars